welcome to my channel today i'll be showing you how to make these tasty beans in coconut cream now let's get started so the ingredients that i'll be using for this recipe garlic uh, chopped onions green bell peppers pureed tomatoes you can still use chopped tomatoes coconut cream or coconut milk the spices are all a teaspoon curry powder royco garam masala paprika and some salt to taste. I also have some chopped uh, carrots. You can grate them, but carrots are optional in this recipe. I just love carrots in my bean stew. So to start off, have your beans that is well boiled or well cooked until it's very, very soft. That is what will give you the thick consistency from uh, your beans. Whether it's stored in your freezer, just make sure that it is uh, well cooked. Now, into your sufuria or pot, add in about two tablespoons of oil, followed by your onions, and fry them until they are translucent. Now that that is done, go ahead to add in your garlic and fry it as well for a few minutes. Next, go ahead to add in your pureed tomatoes. If you're using, using chopped tomatoes, it's still okay. Just make sure that you let it cook for a few minutes so that the tomatoes are completely broken down and you have a thick paste. At this point, you can also add uh, tomato paste, but I'm not using tomato paste in this recipe today. Then go ahead to add in your green bell peppers and let them cook as well. Then add in the carrots. Remember carrots are optional so if you are not using carrots you can skip this step. Next, add in the dry ingredients, that is the spices, and let them cook as well. I'm just going to add a little bit of water to allow it uh, all the veggies and the spices to simmer because I want when I transfer it to my beans it's cooked and the carrots are also uh, cooked Now that the stew or the or the paste is well cooked as you can see here, this is the point where you add in the beans in it, that is if you have it separately or frozen uh, and in this case I have my beans uh, next to me that uh, has been boiling so I'm just going to add in the paste directly to my sufuria. And I'm just going to let this you know, cook, adding just a little bit of water to allow the beans and the paste to simmer all together. And I'm just going to let it cook until the beans and the beans is ready actually. Now that the beans is almost done or done, I'm going to add the in the uh, 
coconut cream or coconut milk this is to ensure that you you know retain or have that rich flavor from the coconut so it's usually best when you add it towards the end but if you're using coconut cream you can oh sorry coconut milk then you can use it as the stew or instead of adding water you can strictly use coconut milk and the results will still be the same so now that the beans is ready it's already thick you can see the consistency it's also very colorful finally add in your coriander and just let it you know, just cook for about 10 seconds so that you can retain the rich flavor from the coriander and your beans is ready to serve So there's the beans too, you can see the consistency, it is uh, thick, I love my beans slightly on the thicker side and you can serve it with rice or chapati or even sweet potatoes. So I really hope you did enjoy this recipe. Thank you so much for watching.